Alright, hello guys. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a ROM that is ported from the Droid X, so it's Moto Blur. If any of you guys have ever used uh, any of those uh, Droid phones, they have Moto Blur in it. The Droid X has Moto Blur in it, which is kind of uh, Motorola's uh, operating system. Like HTC has HTC Sense, this is Motorola's. So, start. And you have to use a Moto Blur account. So I wonder if there's any way to just like go past this. Because I don't really want to set up a Moto Blur account. Yep, so I guess there's no way past uh, not getting a Moto Blur account. And you can read the terms and services. Done. Alright, so I guess I'll just get a Moto Blur account. Alright, right so I just got it to go into the ROM and set up a Moto Blur account. So, here it is. Here's um the actual Moto Blur. And it's a little bit laggy, like I can kind of feel a little bit of a lag. It's kind of pulling a little bit when I'm trying to go through the screens. It's giving me like a pullback. But I think that may be just the animation that's coming with it. And I've never actually used any of these uh, Moto Blur stuff, so I don't know uh, how it really works. And it shouldn't be too confusing. But... You know, like all these uh, different settings here that weren't on sense. Just gonna turn down the brightness here. So we have a bunch of different little settings like wireless and network, call settings, sound, display. That's all the same. Battery and data manager, that's a new one. So we can have that. This is the pull down bar. It's all blue, a little blue on the bottom, kind of fading blue into black, and this is the battery manager, the mode is on night mode, so I guess you can change all that stuff, like the mode and stuff, and uh, have bu custom battery things, and see what's running, and speaking of battery, I'm just going to plug in my phone real quick get this thing charged while I'm making this video alright so accounts privacy all that's the same about phone let's show you so here's the um, system version and Android 2.3.3 and this is a build Evo Blur Evo Lur, Evo Lur like uh, trying to be the Moto Blur, so I guess they made it Evo Lur. So it's like, kind of, you know. And Golden Monkey Kernel, which is a pretty good kernel. So I heard it was really nice, really fast. Version 1.3. And it's just, uh, if you noticed here, it's white instead of uh, the, the other color that it usually is. It's got gray font. So it's just a little bit different as in coloring wise. And it's a little bit different as in the widgets that come with it and all that kind of stuff. Like you can right, select so you a can couple just add uh, whoever you want up here. And I guess that's just like a slideshow. You got gallery. This is your music up here. You can keep going. You can see today's date. And if you add some feeds, you can get the news here. And let's see. So you can um, add some subscriptions, maybe some channels. And uh, USA Today, Fox Sports, whatever you want there, and it'll probably update. It'll look pretty cool. So actually, let me try and see if this thing works. And I'll just do the NF. Actually, not the NFL because they're almost done. Let's go NBA. So I subscribe to the NBA. And there it is. So a lockout hangover, quite the opposite. And it'll go through and update the story. So 
that's kind of cool. There's probably widgets on the market that do the same thing, but for have something go in it, it's pretty cool. And vo voice control, so you, so you can get uh, voice commands. And this thing will just help you through everything. Browser, it's all stack. Um, let's see if it has 4G. So wireless and network. So no 4G. And uh, Wi-Fi is not working either. You see an error right there. Every time you try to turn it on, it gives you an error. So no Wi-Fi and no 4G. So it is still like... I guess it's a, not a beta anymore, but not like a complete build either. So you can get weather updates, add your city and all that, just like um, HTC Sense has that clock up there. Kind of the same thing. And you can add subscriptions to Twitter and Facebook, so you can add social media. And it'll also come up right there. Got some toggles over here that you can click on. Um... This is how you can get to the rest of the apps. These are all the pre-installed apps. And then you can go into the market. So you got an alarm clock app, some music. It's all stock stuff. Nothing really too special here. It's all the stuff that usually comes with all ROMs. It's just a little bit different icons because Moto Blur has different icons than Sense or any other uh, icons. So, we can go and check some widgets that are in this ROM. And let's just take this one off. Oh, you drag up to take it off. Put this one on a different screen. Because I like this little widget. So, And you could just put it on a different screen by scrolling over, dropping it. Okay. And... Motorola widgets, let's check those out. So here's the little uh, toggle widgets. Messages is probably going to be a nice widget. Social social status, sticky notes, it's just like that. Wi-Fi toggle, whether it was on the other one, social networks was on the other one too. Let's try messages. So messages, is, they really like the little icons that are just not taking up the full screen like HTC Sense which kind of takes up the full screen for some of the widgets and the other widgets they uh, don't take up the full screen but they're they take up half the screen so uh, HTC widgets are nice and big which I like but this isn't bad either like a little square in the corner it displays what you want it to which is good and let's see Android widgets so these are just the Android widgets Folders, wallpapers, all that stuff you can go and set. Let's try one more widget, the calendar one. Oh, yeah, we already had that one on there. Never mind. Let's try another one. Contact, quick test, data and time, GPS toggle, messages, news, picture frames, sticky notes. Let's try that one. So kind of cool type some notes uh, save it and you'll see it edits up there so right there it edits but again I can still kind of feel that little bit of a lag but I think it'll get better over time hopefully because I can still feel a little bit of a lag Alright, so it's not a bad ROM. If you like, uh, if you just came from a Motorola phone, if you just came from the Mot uh, Droid X or any Droid phone that has this software in it, maybe uh, you would like to take advantage of this software on here and uh, just get it because you're used to the Moto Blur. So if you wanted that back or if you ever wanted to try Moto Blur, you thought it was a little bit cool with these uh, square widgets and everything then I'd say give it a try. It doesn't have 4G and it doesn't have Wi-Fi, so that's two, I mean, it's big things, yes, but if you don't have 4G in your area, then it won't be so bad, and if you don't use Wi-Fi, so, I mean, but I know a lot of people use it, and I also use it, so. It is it is kind of a big loss, but I think the ROM is pretty nice. I mean, I do see a little bit of a lag, but again, that might just be the, uh, 
animations. I'm really not used to this kind of scrolling because it like kind of bounces back at you. Like when you go to a different screen, you'll see it kind of bounce around for a little bit. So maybe it's just that. But all right, guys. So to download this ROM, look below. There'll be a link to my website, and I'll make a new post about this ROM, and then you can go and download it. And the new post, just read the post. It'll have a download link inside of it. It's going to be embedded, so you got to read the post. It's only going to be a paragraph long, or a little bit, maybe a little bit more than a paragraph. Just read it. It won't take too long. And the link is embedded inside there, so just make sure to read it, and you will find the link. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you have a question about this ROM, or if you need some help, then just leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, favorite it if you really liked it, um, just give it a thumbs up guys, that would really help me, and make sure to subscribe because I do upload videos very often, a lot of uh, ROM reviews, app reviews, and other stuff for your Evo and other Android phones, and just like other apps and cool stuff that you can do to your Android. So make sure to subscribe to me, and you can see all those videos. Alright guys, so um, I'll see you in the next video, I'd say uh, check out this ROM. It might be worth it to you if you like the look of it. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.